So I get this question a lot. Are tables worth it? And then you have some people on there, tables are a waste of money. They're ba 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 ba. Then you have the other people, oh no, I can't won't go out unless I have a table. So is the table really worth it? Is it needed? Or is it eh? Well, my name is Mr. Nocturnal. I'm gonna break down is the table worth it? When is it worth it? And should you always be buying them? So here's my take on tables. I get them occasionally. I do not buy tables all the time because, well, I can't afford to buy a table all the time. And if I could buy a table all the time, I would probably buy more, but I'm not sure I would buy them all the time. I think buying a table depends on your situation. If you don't go out often and you have the money because you just never go out like that and you're trying to ball out, 100% worth it. Because from what it seems to me, you tend to have 30% more fun with a table. And up to 50% more fun if you have a big group. Now, these numbers are calculated using bro science. So, they may not be entirely accurate. It's fairly accurate. It's within 99.8% accuracy. Mr. Nocturnal approved. So, if you fall into that category of you have a big group and you all want to hang out together, definitely having a table, having your own section is worth it because you guys can co-mingle. If you don't come out a lot and you can afford to ball out, it's definitely worth it too, because you know what? You're probably out, so you want to have the most fun that you can have, and then you're back in your hole, or you're back grinding, you're back doing whatever the hell that it is that you do. Now, if you're on a date, I wouldn't buy a bottle. Not at a club. Maybe at a rooftop where, let's say, the price is a little more reasonable. Maybe a hookah spot. And when I mean reasonable prices, I mean no more than 250 Okay, N no more. Maybe if it's like champagne or something like that or in, or like a wine thing because you guys are at dinner maybe. But like at a club, nah. Two of you guys, nah. Especially not at the in the mega cities like the New Yorks, Vegas, LA's, the Miami's where they're going for like 600 plus. Not a chance. Because if you hang out with her, you're not going to spend $600 at the bar. So I guess you could say, yeah, but she gets to sit down. Well, then if that's so big for you and you're willing to spend that, I would just go somewhere else where she could actually hear you. But on a first date, I don't care if you're trying to impress her. Nah, that's a little bit too much. That's a, that's a lot a bit too much, actually. If, the, if you're in one of those cheap cities where it's $150, I, I could pay for that real estate. You know what I mean? Because essentially when you are buying a bottle, you can't look at it as, oh, I could get this bottle for $45, $30 at the liquor store. You're essentially paying for real estate. And that is the best way to look at it. The club is renting you real estate for those hours that you are there, that you can occupy it. So think about it. The bigger the square footage, the more it's going to cost. But also the bigger the square footage, the more people you can have in it. But I kind of got off my point of if I was on a date. If I was on a date, I'm not definitely not getting it. If it's just me with my homies, depending on the situation, I may get it, I may not get it. Depending on what cover is, depending on if we plan to stay there the whole night, depending on a whole lot of factors, I kind of got to play it by ear. So here's a scenario that happened to me in real time, pretty much. So I was out in Miami a couple years back, and it was about $100 cover to get in. And there were five of us. So it was looking at $500. Or I could have bought a bottle. They said for that bottle, they'd give it, give it to us, they'd hook us up with just one bottle. So that would have been sick, like a $600 bottle after all the bullshit, probably like seven, dollars $800, whatever, whatever, whatever. $800, and that'll be $800 divided by five. So I was like, hmm, you guys are trying to get a table? And they were like, yeah, let's get a table. First they were like, yeah, I don't know if we're trying to spend that. Then when I broke down the numbers, they were like, we could do a table. Because in that scenario, if, you, if it's going to cost you $800 for five of you guys, and 500 for you guys to get in, that is without drinks. So if you guys know you guys average spending, I don't know, let's say $60 at the bar. That's relatively low. But that'd be 60 times five, which is 300. And right there, we're back to 800. And if I spend any bit more, I should have bought a table. Now, if they were gonna charge me $20 and I'm with five people, so only $100 covering, yeah, I'm not paying that. What are the odds that I'm gonna even get close to the $800 between us all? But it's probably not likely. So I wouldn't do that in that case. If you can't afford bottle service, table service. I definitely wouldn't do it. If you're mortgaging your whole week just for one night, you've done loss to get your priorities straight. 
definitely wouldn't be getting table service. If you're really just trying to impress girls and you think, oh, if I have a table, hella girls got to come to me because I'm the man. If you really do think like that, you probably can't afford the amount of bottles you need to even pull that off. So I guess to wrap it up, tables are worth it depending on your situation. If you have a big group, I definitely would get it. Also, if you're in a group mixed with women, definitely get it. Girls are in high heels. If it's a really nice club, they might be in designer high heels. Why does that matter? Designer high heels are not comfortable. If you know any girl who has YSLs or Louis Vuittons or Tom Fords, Jimmy Choo's, ask them how much they like standing. And they'll tell you, they don't like standing in them. So if they are those types of girls, I would literally just get a section so they can sit down. So then I'm more paying for seating than I am for anything else. And then they'll be happier. Because if they're not happy, they'll be want to leave. And then you might not have a good time yourself. So in those scenarios, I would end up getting a table. If it's just me on a date, definitely not. If it's me with like a cheap bar or cheap club, maybe not even cheap. It's just the cover isn't too high. Eh, probably not. If I plan to hop around, definitely not. Because I wouldn't get to, to use my table. They, as soon as I leave, they'd flip it. In those scenarios, I'm definitely not getting a table. So as I said, it depends on the situation. If you got the money... If you don't got the money, if you're OD rich, buy ball out. All right. My name is Mr. Nocturnal. What are your takes on tables? Do you like them? Do you not like them? And let me know your best experiences with tables and your worst experiences with tables. What horror stories do you guys have for me? And make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. It really does help this channel grow, especially if you made it this far. And until next time.